Welcome to another episode of Hero FC here in Vanilla FM, and today we have a very exciting episode. We are potentially playing for the playoffs. What do I mean by that? We are tied with Colchester for the sixth place. This is the last match of the season, um, pre previous to the playoffs, of course. Um, and we are playing against them, which means we have to win. Uh, because our goal difference is so small compared to them. So we have to win this next match in order to qualify for the playoffs. So, um, without further ado, let's jump into that. Just to quickly to show you the finances, we managed to almost fix the gap that we had. We went positive for a little bit, <coughs> came back onto negative, but yeah. Um, we'll go through some of the other achievements we made this season uh, later on. But for now, let's just jump into the match right away. So, a very important match. We are playing away from home. And we need a win in order to play the first playoff. So, this is how the um, next episode will play out if we win this match. Um, so, normally when I do playoff episodes, um, I'll play however many playoffs we have. It might just be one, two or three. And I normally just cut between them, um, so we get all the matches that we get through in the playoffs in one single episode. So I'll try to condense down any um, talking in between and things like that. So that will be for the next episode, um, if we win this match. Um, now, in other news, we have had our youth intake. It looks good, it looks healthy. I might show you at the end of the episode. We managed to get to the quarterfinal of the FA Cup, which is a massive achievement. <laughs> I'm not even sure how, but um, but that's been the way we managed to fix our finances a little bit because we had TV revenue for, for that, obviously prize money and gate receipts as well. So a lot of the FA Cup advancements that we had um, were instrumental to get us back on track financially. So, let's have a look. We have some of our new intake here, actually, on the bench. I won't go through them just yet, but... Um, yeah, we, we seem to have had a quite a good intake this year, so hopefully next year we'll have a bit better luck in the, the Youth League. Um, from memory, we are last in the end of 21s, with um, absolutely no wins. Com no, and absolutely no, no, no draws either. So just losses throughout this year. And for the under 18s, we, uh, I think, lost the majority of our matches. We have a few wins, we have a few draws, but like, I think we are a, few, a couple of places from the bottom in the league. Nice goal there from um, one of our youth players, Richard Cross. He's been around a lot this year because of our loan situation. I spoke about it in the last episode. So we have a majority of loanees, which means we have to pick and choose which loanees we're going to play from match to match. <clears throat> so we have been depending a lot on our youth players, um, which is something, uh, one of the contributing factors for me finding it so surprising that we have ended up nearing the playoffs. We've never been in the playoff zone ever this season, so we started in the relegation zone. But then as the year went on, and we'll look at the schedule in a minute, <clears throat> but as the year went on, we slowly started to creep up the table. And this is the first time, if we win this match, it will be the first time ever we've been in the playoff zone this year. Right, so let's make some changes. Two changes to end the... Um, Um, <clears throat> allocation of five subs. So far, so good. I don't want to say too much because <clears throat> nerve wracking. Uh, fun fact, this will be the first time, if we 
you know, go through the playoffs and we win the playoffs and we get promoted and, and so on. This will be the first time we'll get promoted without winning the league. Uh, so far, we have won the leagues consecutively. Um, <clears throat> this will be the first time we don't win the league. Um, so, we won't have this trophy to bark. To bar um, To brag about. Second goal here from Cross. Cross is doing really well this year. Even though he's a youth player, he's supposed to be in the under 18s. But he's got, I think now, 12 goals to his name uh, in professional matches. So that is a good record for an 18 year old. Or you might even see B17. I can't quite remember. And he's going to continue in the under 18 so I didn't, I'm not, excuse me, I'm not making any plans to promote him to the senior, senior squad. Um, I'm also not planning, not planning to move him to the under 21s, so he's going to stay in the under 18s next, next season. And we are going to try to fix this problem that we have with low knees next season as well. Right, so we have won the match, which means... If I'm not mistaken, we end sixth. There's a possibility we ended fifth as well. We actually ended fifth because Oxford, I guess, didn't win their match. So we are going to go ahead and uh, ha play the playoffs, which will be a different episode. But for now, let me just show you the under 18 team. So this is the current squad. It's looking pretty healthy. Actually, let me uh, remove selection because I think I did that so if we go by potential and ability so we can we have a lot of players that you know are up and coming in particular these here at the top so Chris Ross uh, sorry Richard Ross um, yeah he is 18 but he's gonna stay behind and play as one of the two over 18s in the squad next year um, Garrido is the other one so he's also going to stay and play next year. And then these two guys are new. So we've got a goalkeeper a goalkeeper that is looking pretty good. And also uh, Jordan. And there's another guy. Where is he? David Gaella. He's going to be a pretty good striker, I think. Uh, once he has been given some time to develop. So, uh, you know, a bunch of the people that were in the under 18s up in the other 20, 21s and I'll sort that out um, I usually just sort out the, the 21s at the beginning of the, of the following season so I'll, I'll leave the summer see who leaves, leaves the club see if there's any players that I want to demote and keep from the senior squad I don't think there'll be any this year but yeah I'll go through all that and then basically the under 21s is the last thing I sort out um, after the summer break alright go we are set for the playoffs, um, which is fantastic. So I'm going to leave this as a very, very short episode. And next episode, we're going to go through the playoffs, whether it's just the one or if we actually manage to go through all of them. So that will be the entirety of the next episode. Also, I promise we'd look through the schedule. So we are going to. I can't remember. I think it was this. No, it was a loss. February. I can't remember which <clears throat> which game it was that we lost. Wimbledon, I think. Yeah, I think this was the last episode was AFC w Wimbledon. And then since then we had a few wins, uh, two losses for the league. We lost against Bournemouth at home for the FA Cup, um, and we had a few draws as well. So it's been okay that this is the you know the trajectory that we took. Um, in the league, so that was that was good. Um, as far as the under 18s, pretty bad. We got two matches left in 14th. They had a few good games, but the majority of them were pretty bad. And then the under two, oh, actually, I lie. They have one win against Swansea. The in the the only win in the entire season so far. They still have to play against QPR has been against Swansea, which are actually <laughs> is quite impressive because that's the, the top team. They've lost against everyone else, but against the top team they won, um, which is 
very surprising. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on and get to the playoffs and I'll catch up with you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching and see you next one. Bye bye.